So let's look at the inline modular version of the Racklink system. The inline modular version is designed uh, for control of one or two devices or for connection to an existing uh, power strip in the rack for which you uh, would like to control and monitoring. There is an always on receptacle as designated by the gray color and there is a controlled receptacle as designated by the blue color with the white silk screen border. The controlled receptacle has a local switch. The switch is illuminated if the receptacle is on and not illuminated if the receptacle is off. It gives the integrator a lot of visibility into status. There's an RJ45 jack for connection to the local ethernet and an RS-232 uh, connector for uh, connection to control systems. There's also a Phoenix connector, which provides the dry contact controllable output. On the power side of this unit uh, is an IEC connector, which allows the integrator to uh, be able to use a shorter connector uh, for cable management, um, together with a cable clip that prevents the uh, IEC a connector from falling out inadvertently in the rack. There's also an external grounding stud uh, to ensure a universal ground plane uh, within the rack. In the same as the rack mount version, it comes with an integrated thermistor on a nine foot cord that allows you to monitor temperature within the rack environment and lets you place the uh, thermistor itself at the appropriate place within the rack. The mounting system uh, is a simple bracket type device. It allows you to mount the module in two different ways. And it has a uh, retaining washer on the uh, screw at the bottom so you don't, uh, you don't use the screw when you try to install this in the rack. Having secured the mounting bracket within the rack, you simply clip the module directly onto the bracket. Plug in the IEC and snap on the connector, the securing bar, simple as that.